your parents are very distinguished. Do you guys listen to them? Because I know really okay. Because I because I know very often to take advice from the closest people. It's really difficult. Like how yeah. how you guys manage the relationship? It can be hard. Um, and not even just my parents, but having also my grandparents and just other influential people yeah. in my life with big titles. It like you know, of course, I have always want to listen to their opinions because they know obviously they've been through it but sometimes it is a little hard and sometimes it feels like they're attacking you a little bit but i mean attacking yeah you okay okay <laughs> not really but like you know it, it's kind of no, hard being in that saying. position but yeah no i mean at the end of the do day they train you guys yes, i'm sorry yes. to interrupt yeah they really? do okay yeah. They, yeah they always kick my ass and uh they kick shana's but uh, it's out of love and yeah. it's because they care a lot. So uh, yeah. we let that happen and uh, yeah. Listen, actually I've noticed in you on the floor, you're having very outgoing personality. <laughs> you know, how do they, how do they uh, I would say, detain you to stay in a proper, let's say, still amateur but professional way? Because very often we just want to have fun. And I know, and I know being amateur, you know, it's back then you want to have fun. Yeah. yeah, so uh, basically, uh, I like the quote, be yourself, but you have to balance being yourself and professional-ism. So basically, uh, I'm still trying to figure that out, but, okay. but to be honest with you, um, I feel like since the industry is so professional and uh, there's not enough, I feel like, enough performance and people who perform and, ha and show like fun and expression and deepness yeah. and I think that's the essence of dance is making somebody feel something even if it's sad happy but uh, it might come out a lot like a little too much but that's, which but no but that's but that's how you learn I mean, yeah okay, come on. you live and you learn I think every composite experience and uh, I personally feel like it's better to be having performance than not, you know, which I feel like most of the cases. So uh, I just feel like just having fun and this is my life. So, you know. I mean, like I'll say at the beginning, it was a lot for me to get used to. I mean, we're almost four years in now and I'm still adjusting, but there's been times where we're like, Oscar, like this is an important competition. Like you have to calm down. And then like, it, you have to come down. Like, it just like shuts something down inside of him. And we realize like he has a really special thing to just be able yeah. to be like whoever he is. And I think that's great. I and fun watching you actually. Like the, the, this the moment was at the South Open. He, sounds really wrong. He kissed my camera, but <laughs> <laughs> that sounds, really sounds, sounds really wrong. I'm so sorry, but. But it was really, but, but, it, but like those moments like this are very rare, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah, no, I don't like, I think over the years he's learned how to really like play around with it, but still in a professional way where it's not too much. I mean, maybe sometimes it's still too much, it's but still, I think, yeah. I think it's been a learning curve and I think he's done a great job with trying to balance it yeah. over time. Let, let's just make sure that she said that, right? Let, uh, because the, <laughs> she's usually a big hater on that, but you no, know, we're, listen, you, uh, you're having a great partnership and uh, it was some awesome to watch you like to, to communicate on the floor. And obviously with time, we're all, we're all gonna be much better. Yeah. Thank you so much guys. We're gonna go and try to watch a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys.